blocks and I know they stare back Wasted all my youth, wish I could get it back Sit back, relax, have a drink, have a laugh Think about how those days are in the past Couldn't believe my ears when I heard the news Fell apart but I thought I was bulletproof Ha ha ha, clearly not Getting used to the fact that I'm always in the wrong What's up guys, it's Trey, and today I'm going to show you how I made my song Staring at the Clocks. Uh, I would define this as like a lo emotional, lo-fi, nostalgic type song. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add more lo-fi aspects to your music, make it sound more nostalgic, and uh, yeah, hopefully this video will help you. Sigma mills are more attractive than alpha mills. Stay tuned. So first, I started out with this piano. Now from the looks of it, it seems very complex, but honestly, when I break it down, it's, it's gonna seem super easy to make. My process for making this piano was, really there wasn't a process, I just kinda messed around and see what kinda fit the vibe that I was going for. Now full disclaimer, I have absolute zero knowledge of music theory, but how, I'm, how I know I'm in key is by going to this little arrow up here, view and then scale highlighting, and I just left it in C major and everything is in key because it's in the uh, highlighted spaces. Here's what the piano sounds raw. As you can hear it's probably like a little bit too giddy for the sound we're trying to create. So what I did I threw on a uh, gross beat with the triplet and then EQ to cut out the lows, a gross beat with half speed. That way it half speeds the uh, triplet, Valhalla Supermassive for some reverb, and then Sound Godizer just, at, just to boost it up a little bit. Oh, and by the way, the piano preset is just FL keys with the uh, dark What to piano do to make preset. your piano sound more realistic is uh, there's two shortcuts. Number one is Alt-S, and what it'll do, it'll strum your notes. That way it seems more realistic, like a person actually playing it instead of all the notes playing at the same time. And then number two to make your piano more realistic is Alt R. And what that does, you can mess with these levels down here at the bottom. The pan puts, uh, puts uh, certain notes to left or right. And then the vol- <laughs> Whoa, I cannot speak. Velocity uh, changes how loud a note is. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention, I added vi isotope vinyl to the uh, piano. Some of the automations I added on the piano was during the hook. I uh, lowered the uh, halftime uh, growth speed. That way it slowly progresses into just the triplet. The second automation I added was the uh, low cut of the EQ. I just took it away because during the verse I didn't have any 808s or subs or kicks. So I just decided to add a little bit of the low end. That way it makes it seem more full. And for the third automation, I automated just the isotope vinyls uh, wear. And how you can uh, automate just a certain part of a plugin is you move it around a little bit and then go to tools up top, last tweaked, and then create automation clip. And what that'll do, that'll automate just the, the uh, parameter you moved within a plugin. For part of the verse, I switched up the piano. So the piano is literally the only melody within this entire beat. I feel like it was enough and I feel like they, there didn't really need to be anything else. So for the drums, I only have six sounds. I wanted to keep the drums kind of a to a minimum. That way I didn't take up too much space and I could leave space for my vocals. I started out with this hi-hat. Mixing on the hi-hat is just a uh, cymatics origin. This plugin is really good for uh, lo-fi uh, sounds and aesthetics. Here's the second pattern to the hi-hat that add a little bit more rhythm. Make sure you play with the velocities. And then third pattern for the hi-hats. For the second drum, I have this snap.
Now I know it sounds like a clap, but the only reason why it sounds like a clap is because of Cymatic's origin with this uh, Tascam preset. Here's what it sounds like without the Cymatic's origin. Now it sounds like a snap. And then after that, I just added Fruity Stereo Enhancer with the uh, Four Strings preset. This is probably my favorite preset of all time in any plugin. It just creates width in a uh, whatever you want to create width with. For the third drum, I have this kick. Just playing at the start of every bar. And then towards the end. For the mixing, once again, Cymatics Origin, I use the Worn Out Filter preset. Here's what the kick sounds like without the Cymatics Origin. A little bit too loud and a little bit too present, if that makes sense. For the fourth drum, I have the snare. Here's what it sounds like raw. For the mixing, once again, Cymatics Origin with the uh, Remember preset. Flangus, just to, you know, add a little bit more uh, flair to it. And then what I did is uh, merged it a little bit, that way it's not as spread out. And then keeps it a little bit more center. For the fifth drum, I have this open hat. For the effects, I added a reverb, uh, parametric EQ2, just to take out some of the lows and a little bit of the highs. And then isotope vinyl. Now at the time when I made this song, I really wasn't aware of what uh, root notes are. So this pattern doesn't follow the root notes of the piano. So make sure your uh, bass kind of follows the same pattern as your uh, melodies. But in my opinion, it still sounds fine. It's not like it's out of key or anything. So basically, here's the whole entire uh, instrumental. South Salido, turkey, honey, ham, and salami. All right, now on to the vocals, everyone's favorite part. Now for disclaimer, I cannot sing at all. I, I don't believe I have the natural ability to sing. So this is like my best attempt at singing. All my vocals are heavily processed. So for my vocals, I usually use my friend Jonah's uh, preset. I feel like we have the same vocal tone and tonality, so his preset works really well on my vocals. I'll leave a link in the description to his Discord server so you can download all those presets. Here's what my vocals sound like with just his preset. Welcome to my life, I know that I paid the price, I really messed up by rolling the die ice. For this type of song, I figured that autotune really wouldn't match with it, so I made sure I had autotune on it because I cannot sing at all. But make sure the humanizer is really up, that way it kind of it kind of hides and blends the auto-tune. Now for the lo-fi effect, uh, I made this chain myself. I routed all my uh, vocal channels to this one channel, and I added crush with the, uh, whatever this knob is up, and uh, isotope vinyl. That's what gives it that lo-fi sound, so here's what that sounds like. Welcome to my life, I know that I paid the price, I really messed up by rolling the die. I'll leave a link to my Discord in the description if you want to download this quote-unquote preset. Uh, it's completely free, so I highly encourage you to join the Discord. Just remember, your vocals won't sound like this unless you have a, uh, your normal preset routed to this. And for the lo-fi effect, I just have it automated during the hooks and uh, a little bit during the verse just to add a little bit more flair to the verse. I also added a, a delay to some parts of my words during the verse just to add a little bit more oomph to that uh, word. Here's what my voice sounds like raw without any effects, no preset, no lo-fi chain. Welcome to my life, I know that I paid the price, I really messed up. I yeah, it's uh, it's really rough. <laughs> so that's, that's the power of uh, mixing your voice. Now for the vocal layers, I only have uh, two of them, and that's one paying 55% to the left and the other 55% to the right. 
and on both the auto tunes i just uh turn the auto tune a little bit up and the humanize a little bit down that way it makes me seem like i'm singing better when i'm really not it's just in the back but you can't tell it now for the second part of the chorus i feel like i actually did something interesting and that's where i do not have a main vocal over the second half and it's just my two backup vocals staring at the clocks and i know they stare back because in the first half of the chorus it's kind of all a little bit more sad a little bit more reflective kind of low energy but in the second half of the chorus it's kind of angry more emotional more just like despondent so I feel like a main vocal on top of that would be a little bit too overpowering for the listener. Here's what the verse sounds like. Couldn't believe my ears when I heard the nose. Okay, never mind. I forgot I left it raw. <laughs> okay, here's what the verse actually sounds like. Couldn't believe my ears when I heard the nose. Fell apart, but I thought I was bulletproof. Ha ha ha, clearly not. Getting used to the fact that I'm always in the wrong. So yeah, basically, get a preset you can trust. Uh slap it on and then sing your heart out now one thing i know for sure this song wouldn't be nearly as good if i had zero confidence if you're making a song like this you have to have confidence no matter how bad you think you are because if i was low confidence i would be like you know it, it just it wouldn't sound true to the listener if you don't have confidence in yourself have confidence in your preset so yeah, that's that's the song in its entirety. Um, at first glance, it kind of seems like a lot, but when you break it down, it's really not much. Thank you for watching, and uh, leave a like, leave a comment, I guess, and uh, please join the Discord. I'm trying to get it popping, trying to connect artists and producers. So uh, yeah, here's the final song. Oh yeah, and I'll leave the link in the description to uh, the SoundCloud and the Spotify to the song. It's uh, all platforms. Please run it up if you like it. I know that I paid the price. I really messed up. I roll in the die. I see me I should roll twice. I don't wanna go fight. I don't need a fight. Uh, that's a lie. Staring at the clocks and I know they stare back. Wasted all my youth. Wish I could get it back. Sit back, relax, have a drink, have a laugh. Think about how those days are in the stairs. Staring at the clocks and I know they stare back.